is you know since you're still um connected here uh i would like to ask you some questions so what i've been doing in the over the past minutes i've been collecting some individual questions from people and just try to centralize them here then i wrote them in the chat and since you're still here i would like to start with uh, your questions first and then we switch to andrea so the mm -hmm. questions for you is basically can we talk about RRI, open science, open access governance and enforcement in such a decentralized institution like the Open University, or rather the research teams see an actual benefit and there is uh, uh, no need for a top-down approach? I think it's based also that uh, from what we heard from uh, uh, Andrea Riccio earlier, I think that uh, I could not say that like what we did uh, is uh, something that uh, works perfect. Mm. And uh, I think that we need to join forces and do this uh, in both ways. Um, it is uh, true that uh, what we did it is, the way that we did it was a decentralized way. And uh, it worked uh, for our case, but it worked for a specific, for this specific group that uh, we dealt with. And um, nonetheless, we were not, we did not have the opportunity to spread this um, mm. work with uh, others within the institution. So yes, we managed to do this in a way where publishers could get benefited, researchers could get benefited, but then we are missing the researchers from our own institution. So I suppose that this should have been done in two ways. Super, this is very, very good. And it also links with the very nice comment from, um, Katerina below in the chat and she's talking about the actual institutional change and of course there are quite a lot of obstacles especially in your case due to the decentralization but still it is a very good uh, step forward. Okay thank you very much Nancy I would like to move back now to Andrea and uh, we have several questions for you welcome back. <laughs> Uh, so the questions are listed, as you can see here in the chat, yeah. in the sense that what were the main blockers, uh, were there any conflicting goals in the process, and is RRI enough to solve all the challenges or something more than that is needed? Oh, thanks for this very easy question. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have all the answers, especially about the role of RRI, but what's for sure is that there were for sure blockers. First of all, uh, one of the blockers is cultural. So it means that due to the fact that there is a lot of bureaucracy nowadays, at least in Italian university, one of the blockers should, should make them available, easy for them easy to understand that they were not working on some administrative issues, but they were really working on their like research matters. So they're deeply working on something that belonged to us more than to me, because I'm an administrative staff for the university. So that was the one of the first blocker that, that derives from the cultural organization. Another blogger, blocker for sure is time is times of organization because while you want to achieve a goal and you set a certain time for achieving it, that deals with like your human effort. So I can do these guidelines in 10 days and so on. Then you have the time of organization. That means time for approval time for like having or hear different but necessary voices about that just having for example an appointment with the rector could be somehow hard in our university because consider that we have like 59 departments more than 300 professors and so on so timing mismatch is another problem because we we have a natural time and an institutional time that sometimes are in conflict and this could be probably the conflicting, not goals, but com the main conflict that we had. And on the other hand, I do believe that even because we are not supported by our national system, just consider that RRI was mentioned just in one document from our Ministry for University in 2014 during a conference about RRI. So there, are, there is not a national system supporting us in doing that. So there is still some reluctancy in understanding these words. What I can see on the other hand is that the degree of change is huge. And probably also Adrian and Nancy could have seen this somehow concretely because when we started, I always came to the meetings and involved like engineers in this. And I was sure that like in the first meeting they were looking at me puzzled saying, come on, this is like a lot of 
unuseful things. And day after day, year after year, now they are somehow committed and they are the best evangelists of RRI we could have. So that's another, that's more or less what we can say in terms of bloggers and conflicting goals. On the other hand, uh, well, RRI is not enough. RRI for sure is an important part because one of the main assumptions of our experiments and in general of it for RRI is that science is in a big crisis in this moment, an institutional crisis because time, years have passed and all these big institutions are in crisis. So we do need to recover like this crisis of trust that we have, for example, towards citizenship. And we should do several different things to achieve this. One of these could be sure working on responsibility in a, in a broader sense. So for example, working on societal engagement because people are more and more stimulated to contribute by, for example, on social networks and so on. So we have to take like the good part of this attitude and transform it in something that could support trust in institutions. Just to, that, that's one of the examples. Yeah. But for sure, RRI is not enough. But if we see RRI in a broader sense and not only according to a list of five keys, but a way of behaving. Truly uh, recorded and uh, written down so far. I would like to thank you very much, Andrea and Nancy, for this very, very good presentation, and also to thank very much the audience and the experiment and the webinar organization team. And I would just like to mention that all the recordings and the presentations will be made available on the Foster platform. So the link is basically down here in the chat. So everyone who is interested, of course, you can share this to your entire network. So yeah. thank you very much to everyone. Wishing you a very productive year and keep in touch with us and with all the RRI and open science work. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Join the conference. <laughs> <laughs> Final spot. Thank Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.